and welcome to Robert Billaham's press conference ahead of Manchester City. We can start in the room for whoever wants to kick it off. Yeah, George, if you'd like to start. start again you uh, you won again in midweek in the cup I think that's seven unbeaten now how, how pleased are you with the start in terms of results and also the the way the players have quickly sort of taken on board your message and, and your methods um of course I'm happy with that I think actually we have eight in a row uh, we played nine games we lost the first one and then we we have eight in a row without a, a loss and won a few so yes I mean we're doing very good result right now and we have scored 23 goals I think in these nine games and received nine so it's it's looking good result wise and but the main thing is also like we we look good performance wise we we kind of have the possession in the games we create goal chances so so for me we have taken a step already so i'm i'm pleased with that but i think we are ready for the next step can we actually compete against the top four teams can we score more goals to win those games we had a draw and everything so we're not happy just because we are in a good spot i think now we are ready to see can we can we improve it was nice to see the game the other day when a few new players got the chance and they also performed. So I think that's the way to, to take to take it to the next stop. And I guess with Man City up, that's that's a real big challenge. How, how do you see that? I mean, you know, they are one of the best top three, top four clubs. Do you sort of feel Spurs are maybe not that far off as maybe you thought when you first walked in the building? Yeah, I mean, I still, I think we have a good chance to, to, to compete against them and, and probably we have a chance to win as well. And they have a, you know, a system where they have played together for two years now and same coach and quite many same players. So they are a good team with really high quality players. But you can also see that they are, this league is more competitive now. They, they lost against Brighton, they have a few draws. So I think we, we, we have a chance. And if we have a good day, we can actually beat them. If we have a bad day, we're probably going to lose. So, so we need to be sure that we are consistently performing. Um, on the other hand, I think soon that we are ready to take that fight. And, and so I'm just looking forward to, to see if we can do it now or if we need to regroup and make sure we take another step before we do that. I think generally in WSL, it's felt like there's been a big gap between those top three and four and, and the rest. I guess the performance at Chelsea in the opening day was a, a real big sort of step in the right direction. But have you had to sort of work with the squad to kind of make them aware that you know there isn't a golfing class, you don't need to fear these teams that you just go on an equal level or do you feel like that was already there that they, they didn't have that fear anyway? I think there's some kind of uh, respect for this top four club from everybody you speak to in this league uh, and that's quite good when I come from another league and don't really know how good they have been, right? So so for me it's like it's just a team and you know that you can beat them. Uh, I saw Beko Hecken beat Real Madrid the, the other day. I know that you can beat the best team in the world if you have a good game plan and good players and we have good players and Tottenham is not a small club, it's a big club. Uh, so I have respect for them, but I also think that we have national team players that can perform. So why should we have too much respect? I, I see stuff that we can handle tomorrow or on Sunday so we can actually beat them. So hopefully we are ready for that. And just finally for me, on a slightly different note, it's a uh, 6.45 kickoff on Sunday. Um, and the teams were really well supported when they've played away this season, Aston Villa and um, Brighton as well. Those sort of kickoffs, especially when it's London to Manchester, make it really difficult for the fans to get back is... Is that something that maybe the WSL as a whole, and, and I appreciate you're only new to the league, but is that something that the league probably needs to look at, even though it's maybe a good slot in terms of TV, it's not helpful for fans, and especially younger fans, to get to those sort of games and support the team? Yeah, I mean, we had the same uh, in Sweden where the, where the TV company showed some dates Friday evening, Monday evening, and, and it's hard to bring the people to the stadiums. On the other hand, the TV productions gives a lot of money into this product, which helping it for the long run. So I, I have enormous respect for the TV companies trying to help women's football. So I'm not really angry about that. But of course, we need to look at it in the future to make sure we can bring our fans up there and have a good performance. Because what you look for is a, f a stadium full with away, sta you know, away fans, home fans and everything. And, and Monday, uh, Sunday evening is not the best time for that. Hi Robert. Um, on a team news front, how is that looking in terms of, especially, I suppose, a Beth England return? Um, Bethany is taking steps every week. She's in uh, in most of the sessions during training right now, so she's taking steps, but it's uh, still too early to to take her this weekend. Um, Ellie Brazil got a, a duel in the last game, which make her unavailable for a few weeks. Uh, not a big injury, but she will be 
She will not be in the squad for this weekend. Uh, Olga is still doing her rehab. Uh, Drew is getting closer, but she's still also not available. But otherwise, we have a full squad. The way that Manchester City will probably play this weekend, is there a part of you that thinks that you can capitalise on that on that style in a sense? In you know, you're you're quite high pressing without the ball. They like to pass it out from the back. You know, do you think you can use that to your advantage in some ways, or would you like to think so? Yeah, I mean, I, I like to play against teams who want to have a build-up and try to have short passes because then you know that you can press them. And if you're good enough, you're going to win the ball, right? So so for me, I, I kind of like to play against the, the top clubs that play that way. Uh, but then, on the other hand, they press really high and really tough. So we need to be really sharp there. Otherwise, they're going to score against us. So uh, now I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a, it's a good game because we don't really have any pressure on us. But I, I kind of create and pressure. I think we can compete against them. So it's going to be nice to see. And having had a bright performance if, if not the result against Chelsea on the opening day when you didn't necessarily know your players as well as you do now does that give you more belief as well that you know a few weeks down the line a couple of months down the line you can really take this to, to Manchester City on Sunday yeah I think we I've seen from the first training to the today's training that they are developing every day and, and that's you know it's back in the goal is Ash and it's Grace Clinton is everybody so and this Wednesday's game when they show me that small players want to be a part of this then I get a really good opportunity to, to use that and see who are actually ready to play this game and show me that we are on the right level. Uh, but I have enormous respect for City and those players there, so I know it's going to be tough, but uh, we can absolutely find a good way to, to try to beat them. Thanks very much. Thanks. Yes, we can move online now. So Dan Pentland, do you want to kick us off on Zoom? Yeah, I think it's always a good time to play against them, even if they won like five games in a row or lost the five games, because you, you can use that in your way of looking into it, right? But the main thing is how we come to this game with, with a lot of good performances in our package. And I think uh, no matter if they won or draw or lost the last game, I think teams in this league starting to respect us and see that we are a good team. So I think we have a good chance to actually uh, compete uh, on Sunday. Yeah, I I'd rather win 3-2 than 1-0. So for me, it's more like we need to score more goals. But of course, we want to have a clean sheet and we want to make sure we can do that. But, you know, we, we, we know what to develop to make sure we get a better chance to get a clean sheet. But for me, it's more into how to score more goals, actually. I'm not going to put too much effort to, to get that clean sheet. I'm going to make sure we score more goals. That's the, that's the Tottenham way. Cheers. Thanks, Emma. Hey, well, uh, thanks very much for your chat, Brian. Um, just what you were saying there, just then about uh, wanting to score more goals, it sounds like a much, much more fun way to approach a game of football, and I'd imagine all the players are really enjoying that. So do you think that's, that's an element as to why they're perhaps performing so well under you so far? I think so. I mean, if you're going to build self-confidence, you kind of get self-confidence when you score goals or create chances and you you feel the flow. And I, I think the, the fans likes to see goal chances and when we enter their half. If we're going to start trying to, to save the box and make sure they don't score, we don't really get a good energy unless we actually have a clean sheet. So, so for me, it's like, no, we need to score more goals. We need to have more ball. We need to create more chances. That's how we should develop then we of course need to be sharp and in some situations when we're going to defend but if you look at it we haven't really more than three four shots at every game against our uh, our goal right so we actually defend quite well uh, we haven't received more than one goal for just two games that's Chelsea and Aston Villa so we still actually defend quite well um, but yeah I want to play for the fans and the fans love goals so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, absolutely, it's going to be players in in Christmas. Absolutely. Great news! Thanks very much. Thanks, Rachel. Hi, Laura. Um, you were talking about four players who are new or seem new, but there is very much like it is a new. But this was her first ninety minutes since she's been at Spurs. What did you and you got an assist? And I guess the question is, what, what did you think of that? 
Uh, yeah, but I mean, she's a great footballer and she's been in this league before and performed well, right? And she had a, a tough last year with a lot of injuries. And when I came, she, she got injured in the first friendly game and missed the whole preseason, basically. So she's worked so hard to get back in the squad and to get those minutes. And I mean, she's a great footballer and she's a great person. She brings a lot of good stuff to this team. So it's more like it's really tough, con you know, competition in those positions but it was really nice to see those nine minutes against Bristol and she, you know she almost scored in the last second as well so she's a great baller uh, I think I'm gonna raise uh, Anton my my uh, one of my assistant coaches, he works really good with the players individually and he worked with Celine on, in, on the field basically. So, I mean, if you look at who's scoring right now, Celine is scoring right, Martha haven't scored for a few games and, and Grace. But for me, it's like we have so many players. Rosella scored two goals the other night and, you know, we work with everybody to be better. And, and one day Martha scores, another day Celine scores, but we work with everybody all the time and my staff around me is very much looking into details with the clips and on the field and everything. So, I'm just actually just giving them the trust there and, and they, they shine. I mean, she helps me a lot on, off the pitch. She knows the league, she knows the country, she knows the players, she knows the opponents, she knows the stadiums. So having Vicky uh, close to me is, is very much important to me to make sure I'm ca I can be myself. So she makes sure that uh, all the staff members know what to do. She knows how I want to do it so she can, she doesn't really need to run to me all the time. She can actually take decisions and I know that she's going to take the right decisions. She's running sessions, she's uh, running feedback, she's running set pieces. So for me, Vicky is a brilliant coach and I'm very happy to have her on, on my side. Yeah, I think the thing you saw last game when she actually scored two goals and created a penalty, like actually doing those goals is, is uh, her way into this team, I would say. And, and I also think if you look at her GPS uh, on the back when she's running, she's, I guess, I've never seen anybody do those sprint meters in a game that she did the last game. So she has some X factors there that can take herself to the top in this league. But it's also, like you said, she's been in the league for a few years and her consistency to score boy, or do points basically is, is the thing. And now she scored two goals. That was really, I'm really happy for her because she, she haven't played too much for me. So I'm, I'm happy that she, she shows that she want to play more. There is. I mean, we're going to have a few plays left and we're going to make sure we actually have a, a friendly game that week as well to make sure we work on details before we go into the, the last month of tough games, right? So, But the main thing is now to make sure we, we get some good performances and some good results before we go on Christmas break. So we're going to have a good game on Sunday, then we're going to have a, you know, a catch-up week where we can train on stuff and make sure we are prepared for the last three games after that, which will be Man United, Arsenal, Arsenal. So... We are in a good spot and hopefully we can be in a good uh, run until Christmas. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions? We're all done. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. Thanks.